yeah. somebody asks me now where the best place to go and learn Arabic, I say to them go to Egypt. Yeah. It's not Medina. Yeah. It's not Al Yemen. Yeah. I'm totally against these Medina books that people yeah. study. Yeah. I'm totally against it because what you are in need of is conversational Arabic. Yeah. You need to understand what the teacher is saying. Yeah. You need to understand basics. I don't necessarily believe that these Medina books really do the job properly. I disagree with him with teachers' books at Medina College. I'm 100% <laughs> against that opinion. But we can differ and not hate each we other. Can agree, disagree. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an issue of Walal Baral, though. I might have to get off this interview. It's short. I didn't actually know if that. If you keep putting it down. <laughs> well, I'll go on anyway, go on, Egypt. Um, they this, study, yeah. like, even this is a type of Arabic that I studied when I was. Uh, in mm. Hadramaut, yeah. the private classes that I was having with this uh, Syrian teacher, I think they call it the Asasi books. Yeah, right? Kitab al-Asasi. I've got them over there actually. Oh, and he's got in there. Yeah, I've got Kitab al-Asasi. Well. I've, I've got the... I'm them that. I've got a plan to at some stage. Uh -huh. We have to get through the Medina books first, but... I've got Arabi, the 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 Arabi, doesn't the Medina books really heavily revolve around that? The Medina books do, yes, I agree with you. And just to support yeah. your claim, just to show yeah. I'm not biased completely, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm going to agree with you here. Yeah. There was one brother, I might have mentioned this before. He was an English brother, convert, white, blue eyes, all that stuff, 100% like. He went to uh, Medina, and I remember one time the teacher asked him to answer the question, obviously in yeah. Arabic, right? He looks at him, frustrated, he says, I don't understand, in English. How can I answer you? I don't understand Arabic, basically. Yeah. You're asking me something in Arabic and you expect me yeah. to answer. And he was frustrated. He ended up not completing and leaving it. So you're right. You do need to have a little, a level of Arabic before I'll you go. I'll tell you something, right? I remember when I attended a Nahu class. But, but, oh, okay, quick but, quick but. Uh, the syllabus, as you know, isn't just the grammar books. They've got the kitab, oh, they've got tabir, yeah. they've got, for example, qira'ah, then they've got in the second level, you started to study some basic fiqh and some That's basic good. hadith. And, if you study all of yeah. these books alongside the Medina books, yeah. Then we're going to be on the same page. Yeah. I remember, subhanAllah, when I was in, uh, in Damaj, this is after I studied conversational Arabic yeah. in Hadramaut, I was attending a class, uh, a Nahu class, yeah. that the yeah. uh, Sheikh was teaching us. And that's an explanation of Ajurumiyah, the main yeah. one that they used to teach, yeah. And, and it's translated myself, in English as well. I looked can you at grab Arabs? it, please? So we can just show, show people the book. Carry on quickly. Yeah, that one. Uh, just so you, the people can benefit. Yeah, mashallah. Uh, you get it translated, right? No, no, not us. Ah. This is the book and it's a translation. I know you don't like me doing that, but maybe you can zoom in at one point. <laughs> okay, so that's the book. And they've actually translated. It's still got the Arabic in it as oh, well. Mashallah. Got Arabic and English. Ah. Why would you translate a Nahu book, you wonder? Because there's people that just like the la like Nahu, isn't it? I think it helps the teacher as well. It helps the teacher, yeah. Yeah, yeah so go on. So, uh, I looked around and I said, you guys are Arabs. Yeah. And your understanding is no different to mine now when yeah. the teacher speaks yeah right and it might be at times that i understand it better than you yeah because I, I i i learned uh, uh like fusha right yeah yeah uh i think they call it colloquial no uh yeah. classical or yeah, yeah. a classical way of you know speaking the arabic language yeah. they're hawam yeah. just general commoners who haven't necessarily studied the rules of speaking arabic or reading yeah i said we're exactly the same however that which we both have is that we can understand the teacher yeah. when he speaks. Yeah. If someone doesn't understand basic conversation Arabic, he's going to struggle. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because even Arabs, they go and study Nahu. Yeah. They yeah, they're studying Arabic study Nahu. 100%. Because yeah. the majority of the Arabs that live today, they don't understand Nahu. That's right, yeah. They're just commoners. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So, like we uh, are in the English language. We don't generally don't know the grammar of the English language. language. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, so uh, I, I genuinely would advise somebody to go to Egypt. Yeah. So this brother, I would see him, he came martial arts, Arabic was on point. Yeah. As for other brothers, I could see that um, their, 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 their speaking wasn't up to yeah. scratch, the understanding wasn't up to scratch. And I asked the question, why? I never actually discussed this with those who were struggling, but I could, it, was, it was pretty clear to me. A system, there wasn't actually like a proper system there. Yeah. Um, even in Medina, there is a system. Yeah. But However, it's not as good as Egypt. It's not as good as Egypt.